analyzing the Trump economy, James Freeman out with an op-ed last night titled this, U.S. business creation hits record high. However, the president may describe it. There's no denying the good news. Joining us right now is one of America's most successful female entrepreneurs, CEO of Act One Group, Janice Bryant-Howroyd. Janice, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. We're so happy you're here. And we want to ask you about this entrepreneurialism that you've known your whole life and, and, and done. But first, as a businesswoman, how do you see the economy right now? So, Describe things for us. Let me tell you happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. All right. I just <laughs> celebrated mine on September 1st. Oh, Virgos are the best. Yes, yes. And what, <laughs> you know, one of the things about Virgos is really aligned with where the economy is right now as well. As I'm looking at it, I see the economy on a lift and an opportunity for us really to think differently about how we're approaching work. You know, work is my forte. And as I look at where we are having the difference in the employment that I'm seeing, and the way companies are employing, I'm seeing it to actually preface versus follow where the uh, economy is. So when you're seeing in, uh, instances, as I do in my company, where companies are looking for workers across different skill sets and non-traditional ways they're hiring, we're also looking at the economy lifting in that way. Yeah, and, and Does that make sense? Absolutely. And one thing that you wrote about is the fact that you're seeing more startup activity. Yeah. And for a little while, we were questioning, is entrepreneurialism still alive and well? Yeah, but it looks like last three quarters are a real ramp up in uh, in people applying basically to the government to be able to tax. So new businesses, that's how we measure new business formation. And does that square with uh, what you're seeing? Square so well with what I'm seeing. As a matter of fact, historically, let's look at my business. Even as recent as four years ago, com companies look to employ people individually, at best in statement of work opportunities. Now, with total talent opportunities for companies, you'll hear a lot of conversation about total talent communities. We've been leading in this area in how we're escorting companies hires. They're hiring people in non-traditional ways. You, you're very familiar with the gig worker, but yeah, right. we're also seeing companies now wanting to hire uh, people based on their ability to manage information, not just manage process. And there were more job openings than unemployed Americans in the month of July, according to the Labor Department. So that, as someone who actually works in talent management, what does that say to you? I mean, what it does say to me is that, number one, the jobs themselves are shifting. So we have to read below the numbers. There are two things that happen there. One, Maria, when you look at where the numbers are, you see jobs that are currently defined, very traditional in scope, and companies have a better handle on what they're looking for in that aspect. Then you're seeing companies who, I would venture to say that 60% of the jobs, 60% or more of the jobs that will exist that companies Companies will hire for within the next 18 uh, next 18 months yeah. are not fully yet defined. We need to train those people in order to thrive in this new economy, Morgan. So, Janice, the majority of, of new uh, uh, jobs entrepreneurs are actually from women. But I, but what I've read is that it's really really hard for women-owned businesses to get over that uh, you know million-dollar mark in, in revenue. So, how what's your advice for women and especially women of color starting new businesses? in this economy? Well, you know, the same advice I give to women and women of color is advice I give to anyone. And I'm out there on it, you know, my ABCs. you got to ask the right questions then. Listen, listen, listen for the right answers. We've really got to be in tune, active listeners. And then be where you say you're going to be, when you say you're going to be, but most importantly, how you say you're going to be. That means that you've got to be friendly with this age of uh, artificial intelligence and, 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 and robotics, you know. Don't see it as competing for your workforce. See it is being cooperative with it. If you're a woman who's starting a business, chances are you may be moving from not just an experience but a desire-based opportunity to create an economic environment. So that means that then you're going to be taking a lot of your own natural energy into it as well, but you can't confuse that. You can't afford to confuse that with where the value is. Uh, and the C is, quite frankly, connectivity. We've got to have circular connectivity. That means that you've got to be engaged in a way that allows you to communicate with the people who need to be communicated with in a complete manner, and you've got to be able to do that across. You, you know, my son has a friend who started a business. He started the business in um, 
uh, supporting autism. His first client was an international client. So you get where I'm talking about mm -hmm. in your ability to communicate. But we, we service over 60 languages from the platform of technology we use right. to employ people. So businesses aren't as disconnected as they were a decade Is ago. that where you see the growth in terms of startups, technology-based, or somewhere else? Technology is a part of everyone's business. Think about my industry, mm -hmm. employment. When I started my company in 1978, I started a company that was uh, an industry that mainly was a people business supported by technology. That shift has dramatically changed, yeah. Maria. Today, we are technology industry supported by people. Yeah, really great stuff. Janice, great to have you on the show. Wonderful to be Thank here. Thank you so much Wonderful. for joining us. Janice Bryant, Howroy, joining us there.